Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So we're having like a little bit of wind tonight and um, my electric just went out and thankfully I was like in between videos. So I didn't uh, have to start over really nice. Um, but that might be why I'm getting a little bit of the more feedback than normal, like at the beginning of my videos. I don't know. But anyway, I've got a bread and butter Bolo video coming your way. Mm, three of them. Items that I bought low and sold for a decent amount, $35, usually between $10 and $35 is what my bread and butters go for. So if you want to see my big money bolos that's in a different video, go check that out. And we're going to get started here. 34 bolos coming your way. Um, my screen share up. I feel a little off. I'm like distracted from the electric, like my TV's booting up. I'm going to have to change my clocks again. It's gone off like, I think this is the second time today. So not cool. All right. Let, at least it came back on, right? Okay. The first item I sold is this queen mattress, um, waterproof, um, protects against like bed bugs and stuff like that. And I got this at a garage sale for $5 and I took a best offer of $35 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Bob's books. And I pick up Bob books whenever I see them because they typically will sell pretty quickly. These came from a garage sale. I can't remember what I paid for all of them. It was, I think, a couple bucks. And they come sometimes in like um, a case. And if it's complete, you can get a little more money for them. This was an incomplete set, but I still knew that I could sell them. And I sold these for $16.80 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Disney Magnetic Paper Doll Set. It is new old stock. I picked it up in a bulk toy um, buy at a garage sale. And I basically got every toy for $3. So some of the items were big money bolos. Some of the items were bread and butter, but it averaged out to $3 each which I was completely fine with. I still made a great profit on this and sold it for $16.80 buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is from the same place, so $3, and this is the Moxie Teens. It's a wig, and I sold this for $29.40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Little People Cinderella Horse and Carriage. And I do pretty good with little people. I actually am looking at two huge totes full of little people stuff that I need to list. And I just keep like going to garage sales and throwing the little people in there if they're not a complete set. And some of the castles and stuff are kind of big. And I'm like, ah, I don't really want to mess with it. But these came from a different sale. So those are just kind of hanging out, sitting there. And I'll get to it eventually. And as I go to garage sales, I'll just keep adding to my pile. And one day I'll decide to do it, but not yet. So I sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping and they're super cute. And if you watch my big money bolo video, you'll see some of my Fisher price little people that I sold that were big money. So definitely check that out. The next item I sold is this Boyd's bear Bubba B bear figurine. This came out of a mystery box. It was in the original packaging. Here are my thoughts on this. I like selling Boyd's Bear plush. I do pretty well with it. Most of it is long tail, but I have decent return. The figurines like this, I have not had great success with. I, I don't look for them, but I have gotten so many of them in a mystery box and I have a bunch to list and I'll keep you guys posted on how they do. But my experience in the past has been that they're a little bit long tail and harder to sell. They sell, but they take a while. But this guy, he sold it. He sold actually pretty quick. And I sold him for $15 and 12 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I was thrilled with that. Um, but he, I don't even know if he was ever displayed. He was in the plastic like that. I took him out of it. So I don't know. I don't know if it's something I would source for. Um, I will keep you guys posted once I get the other ones listed. I have a whole tote full to list. Um, and I will know more. As I list those, I just need to get them listed. So I don't want to give you like a, oh, definitely look for this because I'm not sure yet. But this guy did sell pretty quick. The next item I sold are these Pocahontas hair accessories and ponytail holders. 
they came in a vintage hair accessory lot that I purchased. Oh my gosh, I got so many hair things and I think it was $5 for all of them. I've made so much money on those hair things. Um, and I talk about those in my thrift battle against um, Donatella Bodolino on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. Definitely go check it out. Um, it's an older video, but it's still very relevant. And you'll see some of the other um, ponytail items to look for because some of them are definitely a bolo, those vintage hair accessories. And I have Primetime Treasure Hunters um, channel linked down below in the description. I should just link that thrift battle because I feel like I talk about it a lot. The next item I sold is this Briar American Quarter Horse and Fowl Set. And I got this at a thrift store for $1 and I sold it for $21 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Bill Bloss Barbie doll. And I picked this up at the, it was a bulk Barbie buy. So I paid um, $3 or $4, $4 for this one. And it sold for $29 and the buyer paid shipping. And it had the box and can't remember if this had the complete box or just part. Yeah, it had the whole box. So yeah, definitely a, a good find there. The next item I sold is this Itty Bitties Sadness from Movie Inside Out plush toy. And this thing's about this big. It's a little plush and they're from Hallmark. And I've done pretty well with these in the past, but this guy sold really fast. I sold him for $10.20 and the buyer paid shipping. This was from a garage sale. I bought tons of stuff, so I probably had like 25 cents in this. The next item I sold is this vintage wind sock. I believe I sold it for full asking price and then the person backed out and I later sold it for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. I believe this was a mystery box find. Um, I, I, I don't know. Some of that vintage Halloween stuff really goes for a lot of money. I was hoping to get more, but I did take a best offer of $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this 1988 Ensco Toyland Action Music Box. And I got this at a um, thrift store. I paid $5 for it and the buyer paid the shipping and it's super, super cute. And like the little train moves and there's other little things that move around, but it, it's really cute. The next item I sold is this Three Stooges, which came, this is Mo, and it came from the same sale that I got all the Barbies. So I had $4 in this and I took a best offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage blow mold ink pen shaped like Dracula. I also have a witch and a ghost still for sale. I picked this up at a garage sale and a huge tote of Halloween items. This was long tail. I don't know if the pen works because it's vintage, but I, I sold this for $19 and 12 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And honestly, I thought these were going to be like a huge bolo, a home run and you know, they've been really long tail, but I'm also not like I'm keeping the price kind of high because I know it's such a rare and hard to find item and I'm just waiting on the right buyer. The next item, super fast selling items. So these are um, plastic canvas and they're for like cross, is it cross stitch or I don't know, you like stitch the thread or whatever through them. I don't know what they're called, but they're for like crafts. But these sold so fast, you guys. I bought a whole bunch of them in a garage. So I think they were 25 cents each. I lotted them up into separate lots and I think I've sold all of them. So if you see this plastic canvas and you can get it really cheap, definitely pick it up. Like these are bread and butter. You know, I sold it for $13.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And you know, they're hearts little plastic hearts and they're just six inches. You know, they're small, but they're for crafts. Super cool. The next item I sold is this Bratz um, outfit. And I got this at a garage sale with a bunch of Bratz items. And I sold this outfit separately for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these pencils, these vintage school office pencils. There's 10 of them. And I sold these for $12 and 75 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I can't remember where I got them. The next item is another one of those snowmen and friends. Um, I bought two of these the same day. One was still um, in the box. And this one was an open box. And it actually came with a hook. 
So I don't, it actually came with two hooks. So this one was probably better than the other one. But uh, I took a best offer on 30 of it for this one because it was open. But the other one, I believe I sold for 40 and I paid $5 for them each and they sold really fast. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item I sold is this Disney Fairy Secret of the Wings Tinkerbell nine inch doll. She's new old stock and I picked her up at a garage sale, paid $3 for her and I sold her for 19 plus shipping. Oh my gosh, my voice is... <clears throat> <Ooh>. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Oh, I think I need to take a drink. I don't normally do that while I'm recording, but I have to. Or I'm going to keep coughing, and I don't want to do that. So I apologize. All right, the next item is this Chico's Long Tassel Necklace. This came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. 344 pounds of jewelry. If you want to know more about that, I have a whole video series on it. Um, $18 I sold this for and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Annalie Halloween cat and I sold another one of these. I shared it and I don't think, I think it was another video I did tonight. And I sold this for $16, the buyer paid shipping. Annalie is very, very um, easy to identify once you know what to look for. And I always pick it up when I see it. The next item is this stamped uh, Bernat. Christmas cross stitch kit. It's a stocking. I always pick up the stockings if I see them, if they're cross stitch and if they're for a good price. I got this one, I believe for a dollar at a garage sale and I sold it for $21 and 25 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this little Longenberger. Um, it's like a Swiss army knife and I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale for like a buck. Maybe it was 50 cents can't remember. I bought a bunch of Longenberger stuff there and some of it was 50 cents and some of it was a dollar. So we'll say a dollar just to be safe. The next item I sold is this 1999 invisible mask from Paper Magic Group. It came out of a mystery box and I sold this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. So it looks like it covers their face but they can see through it and yeah pretty fun. Uh, so see the buyer paid shipping on that one yeah the next item are these pez dispensers and i thought these were going to do better than they did i'll be honest with you i probably should have lotted them up um, by characters they are all vintage but they do have the feet they're not super super old um like i probably should have put like the disney characters together and the paw patrol together i don't know uh i ended up taking a best offer of 25 dollars. i was just happy to see them go I bought these in a bulk toy lot and I didn't have much in them. So I definitely made money on that one, but not as much as I had hoped. Here's more of those plastic canvases. These are stars and they sold for $15 and 30 cents buyer paid shipping. And again, sold super fast. I paid 25 cents each. The next item I sold are these quarry critters. I talked about these in another video. I sold a donkey and the donkey was a bolo. Um, it sold for more than this. This These I took $12 for um, best offer for these. And I paid like a buck for it. So uh, still good margins, but, you know, definitely bread and butter. The next item I sold is this Bratz Lips Bed. It's got the bedspread and the pillow. This has two pillows. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. Um, this came in a bulk. Bratz buy. So I listed the bed separately and I sold it for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Billy the Kid key case. Uh, I believe this came from a thrift store or a garage sale. Uh, I wouldn't have paid. It was probably 50 cents or a buck. Uh, probably 50 cents. I don't usually pay much for these, but I did pick this one up because it was Billy the Kid and I just thought it was interesting in the original packaging. This is what it looks like on the inside. I took a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Kate Spade earrings. These came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I sold these for $21 and 25 cents and the buyer paid shipping. Super cute. The next item I sold is this vintage Pokemon Poliwhirl Nintendo bath toy uh, from 1999. This guy sold fast. 
Um, he came out of a mystery box and I took a best offer. Nope, I'm sorry. He sold for the full asking price of $10.20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Vera Bradley uh, jewelry book uh, organizer thing. It's really cool. I couldn't find another one like it. Um, great for traveling. And I picked this up at a garage sale for a couple bucks, I believe. And I sold it for a best offer of 29. I think this one was, maybe it was $3. I don't know. I bought like three or four different things there. So definitely a good deal. The next item I sold came out of a mystery box. It is a girl's uh, scary scarecrow Halloween costume. And there were a bunch listed. Um, it appeared to be unworn. So I put new without tags because I wasn't sure. And then I just disclosed that I wasn't sure if it was worn or not. And I priced it low to move it because, uh, you know, Halloween costumes, there's such a small window. And if there's, if it's a, one that's still out, you know, eBay can be saturated. And I felt like eBay was a little bit saturated with this one. So I, I priced it low and I took a best offer of 10 and the buyer paid shipping and I was happy to see it go. The next item, I was at a garage sale and it was closing up and they just like handed me a bunch of stuff free. And I'm like, okay. Um, I was hoping this was going to have all the pieces. It did not. So I just listed it for replacement parts. It still had the figures and I sold it for $10 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So even if um, sets are incomplete, people will still buy them because they might need a piece or maybe they just wanted those mini figures. You know, that makes sense. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm about to do a Poshmark video, what sold video. And in my Poshmark videos, um, I share with you items that sold faster on Poshmark and I don't show clothes. Um, I feel like my audience base is more people that don't sell clothes or are do sell clothes and are inter interested in branching out. So um, be sure to check out that Poshmark video after I have one that I did. I know there's one that's already posted and then I'm going to do one tonight, which I don't know which video I'll post first, but definitely check out that other one. And as always, thanks for being here. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Definitely check out my list perfectly video. It should be popping up. It shows you how to cross post fast. I love it. I've been using it for over a year. Love, love, love it. You guys, it saves me so much time and it gets my items out on different platforms where, um, there's different buyers on different platforms. I mean, I am learning that. So um, if you want to try List Perfectly, my referral coupon code is Bolo Buddies, one word. That'll get you 30% off your first month. And again, there should be a video popping up if you want to see how that works. I walk you through it and show you exactly how to do it. Thanks for watching. Have a great night and I'll see you at the next video.